Hey there, Woodsuit family, it's Ryan here, and before we get started, public service announcement. If you are currently in good health and qualified to get it, I highly recommend you go out and get your flu shot. Even if you don't like needles, flu shots are super awesome, and there's a reason why I brought it up. So I just got back in from playing D&D with my buddies, and there was a really interesting thing that happened this time. I'm not sure why it hasn't happened before, but this time around, a weird perspective change happened for us. To set the stage, we're at our embassy and we decided to go and check out some caves that were underneath of us. So we go into the caves and we start poking around and inside we find four creatures called Odiugs. I know what you're thinking, nerd! The party of adventurers comes across these Odiugs. There's four of them down there munching, doing their thing. And so we set up the shot and we fire a couple arrows and we actually take one of them down. And then the unexpected happens. Instead of the three other Odiugs charging us to get the kill, they jump into the piles of garbage that they are currently munching on and started to hide. And this is kind of unusual behavior. Most of the time when we face off against bad guys, they charge headlong in in order to kill the party. Turns out that they kind of moved into this area that naturally had a bunch of garbage and since they are garbage eating monsters, they made themselves at home. And unfortunately, the Odiugs have enough intelligence to speak to us and it turns out we killed one of their buddies named Steve. And we kind of looked at each other and we realized that maybe we did something wrong there that you know, maybe we're the bad guys in this situation. And as a party outside of the game, we started to reflect on Dungeons and Dragons in general and we realized that, you know what, like, we're in here invading these people's spaces. So it turns out that a lot of stuff in D&D made us think like, maybe in this story we're not the heroes, maybe we're the bad guys. You're probably asking yourself, what does D&D and flu shots have to do with one another? While I bring up D&D and, D, and this case specifically because of the perspective shift that happened while we were playing the game. I find that perspective shifts are really important when it comes to self-knowledge and trying to understand things from other people's point of view. For instance with flu shots, usually the line of reasoning is you get the flu shot, you protect yourself. You don't have to get violently sick uh, or at least maybe you don't have to spend those precious days off at home, lied up in bed, wishing you were dead. But really, when you think about it, when you take an alternative perspective, flu shots are not important to protect you, it's to protect the other people. Anybody who has compromised immune systems, you know, the really young or the really old, just anybody who could really benefit from not getting sick, it's, the flu shots are really there to, to help them out. I'm an able-bodied guy. If I get the flu, which it happens from time to time, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I have to stay home for a little while. But on the whole, it's oh, it's gonna be okay. Generally speaking, I'm gonna be okay coming out of this. And that's not gonna be the same for everybody else. And I found that it was a very valuable lesson to have, especially for being in relationships or being married in my case, that you're gonna have conflict with your partner. And instead of getting defensive about it, I find that it's better to kind of stop, pause, and then try to imagine how the situation is being played out in the mind of the other person. And so instead of protecting myself or defending myself or trying to be right all the time, I wanna find that compromise and figure out, okay, what is it that's kind of dividing us right now and how do we close that gap? Who would have thought that you would have come to the Woot Suit channel to learn a little bit about flu shots, Dungeons and Dragons, and get some marriage advice all in one video. Anyways, drop me a comment down below and tell me about a time that you had a perspective shift. What was it that was causing the division? How did you try to bring two sides together? Let me know and I'm looking forward to reading it. Anyways, I'm sorry that I missed my video two weeks ago. Things got a little crazy, but I promise I'm gonna try to do better in the future. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and don't forget, stay awesome.